We can have all the fall color right in our own gardens, and we don't need burning bush to do it. Oh. Burning bush is registered as an invasive in at least 21 states, and it's even been banned in Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and just earlier this year in Pennsylvania. But fear not, we have so many plants native to North America that have gorgeous fall color. Here are some shrubs that'll light up your garden come fall and where you can get them. And we're kicking off with yellow. Purple flowering raspberry is a thornless raspberry that's native to Eastern North America. Look at that, why isn't this in all of our gardens? Songbirds and game birds love the berries, which mature in early autumn at the same time the leaves are turning a pale yellow. It prefers moist acidic soil and part shade and spreads at a medium rate to a nice size about six foot tall and 12 feet wide. This one's a bit harder to find online. There are some nurseries that seem to carry it, but they do local pickup only, like this one in Ontario. Seeds appear to be more readily available, but many of the larger seed companies were out of stock. I ordered some for myself from a Canadian company called Berry Seeds and Plants, so we'll see how those do next year. Seeds are also available from seedvilleusa.com, and even though I did get an out-of-stock warning when I added them to my cart, I emailed them and they quickly confirmed that they do have them packaged and ready to ship. Blood twig dogwood is a shrub with four seasons of interest, including its bright yellow fall color. The berries are a much sought after food source for birds and are a perfect example of how many of our native plants are literally designed for migrating birds. Native dogwood berries are high in calcium, which helps mamas to recover from a season of egg laying. And they're high in fat, the berries, not the birds. And fat is a critical energy source for both migrating and overwintering birds. My local nurseries tend to carry these shrubby dogwoods pretty readily but the compact cultivar Arctic Sun is available online too. For example, from White Flower Farm based in Connecticut. On to fiery fall orange. Real quick though, speaking of fire, despite my very convincing special effects, you should never start a fire unless you're a licensed professional. If you're in need of some real shrubby invasive management tips, I linked a really helpful video in the description. Okay, back to orange. Orange is one of my favorite fall colors, but it can be a little harder to find. For fall color that ranges from orange to yellow to bright red, nine bark is a great option. It's fast growing and is awesome for attracting a diverse group of pollinators. And this one's also pretty readily available, but consider skipping the purple leaf cultivars like Diablo. While the green leaf nine barks hosts 41 species of butterflies and moths and its very own nine bark calligraphy beetle. Okay, tell me that's not what you pictured when I said calligraphy beetle. The purple leaf cultivars actually prevent these insects from being able to use the leaves and that'll reduce its wildlife value. If you love purple, I've got you covered. Purple fall foliage is coming up. A nursery based out of Tennessee called TriStar Plants appears to carry the straight species of nine bark. Black chokeberry is a tough but dependable medium-sized shrub that tends to sucker but does have a nice mounted habit. It has glossy dark green foliage that turns electric orange with some shades of red to purple in the fall. The chokeberry fruits are pretty astringent but they're extremely high in antioxidants and they have five times more antioxidants than blueberries. Birds will wait to eat them until midwinter, so you'll have a shot at getting some berries for yourself, and you'll have some winter interest in your garden as well. I ordered mine through Wisconsin-based Prairie Nursery. A smaller cultivar called Lowscape Mound Aronia is also available from a number of online retailers, and this one will stay under about two feet tall. I was noticing a lot of our native fall fruiting shrubs make berries that are high in antioxidants, which makes me wonder if that somehow helps migrating birds. Turns out, yes. Long distance migrations push birds to the very edges of their physical limits. And to survive it, they release hormones called glucocorticoids, gluco glucocorticoids that shift their metabolism so they have lots of ready fuel. But prolonged exposure to these hormones leads to something called chronic stress response, unless antioxidants are present to mop up free radicals. So our gardens should be providing berries with fat and antioxidants to help our birds survive migration. Burning bush berries, on the other hand, those are just mostly sugar. For red, let's start with one that I'm planting in my own garden. Highbush cranberry. This is actually a type of viburnum and not the same as the cranberries you get in the store, but apparently they do taste really similar and you can use them in a lot of the same recipes. This one is a great shrub for all seasons, including its very handsome red fall foliage. I'm putting my highbush cranberry where it can get to full size, but smaller cultivars do exist and stay about five to six feet tall and wide. This is a great shrub to attract cedar waxwings. Birds will wait until spring to eat the berries, so it'll hold berries throughout the winter, adding a pop of much needed color to your garden. Birds actually need the protein from pollen to properly digest the berries, which is why they have to wait until spring when the pollen is available. And unlike most birds, cedar waxwings rely on fruit year round, so your cranberry viburnum will be ready for them. I ordered mine from Prairie Nursery, where I also got my black chokeberry. They have a really diverse selection of native shrubs and perennials and a really wonderful website. I'll be showing more on how I'm designing my backyard for maximum fall color in an upcoming video, so be sure to subscribe to check that out.
Highbush Blueberry is another edible option with beautiful red fall color. I mean, get out of here with that red. These should be easy to find at most garden nurseries with different cultivars you can choose from. And it's also available through Direct Native Plants who I mentioned before. They have nurseries in both Maryland and Illinois, so you can choose which is closer to you during checkout to reduce your shipping. Ooh, it's getting moody in here. Time for purple. Maple leaf by Burnham gets started in spring with lacy white flowers, and by late summer it has blue black berries that songbirds love, and its red purple foliage is stunning come autumn. But maybe my favorite thing about our native viburnums is that they attract hummingbird moths who will lay their eggs on the leaves. Maple leaf viburnums are great low maintenance foundation plants. They'll get about three to six feet tall and are pretty drought tolerant, and they have very few pest or disease issues. This one is available from Direct Native Plants. And when you order, you can even choose your shipping week for a time that's most convenient. Oak leaf hydrangea is one I planted last summer. Mine is still small, but I can't wait for it to get full size, which is about eight feet tall and wide. It gets giant panicle blooms that last most of the summer, and the leaves turn a deep reddish purple in autumn. It attracts bees and butterflies, and the seeds are a food source for songbirds. This one's easy to find, and many cultivars exist. A North Florida-based nursery called Perfect Plants appears to sell the straight species, and they sell smaller one-gallon plants, so they had some of the best prices I could find online. It might feel like the gardening season is wrapping up, but this is actually the perfect time to be planting trees and shrubs for next year's fall color. If you're not completely sick of my voice yet and want to see some of the ways I keep gardening through fall and winter and actually save money doing it, watch this video next. As for me, I am going to go take a nap. I haven't slept in two weeks. Every time I close my eyes, I see fall color. It is pretty though.